like the energy was going to be like that today. Mm, I don't. Mm, I just mm, knew mm, all that mm, would come mm. out. I don't know how you do it every time because I I'm like this. I talk like this. I sound like this. I don't have that kind of energy. <laughs> I was actually taking notes. Um, a couple of. Um, I think I was replaying one of the episodes and I was replaying it with a friend, and they were like, "Your mood last week." for the last episode was not at the level that you usually do and i even noticed it from the beginning when i did the little yeah. blah, blah, but it was like a it was like a subtle blah, 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 blah. i didn't even make that much noise and they were like you need to understand that like you and daphne are polar opposites and so like you guys need to balance each other off so if <laughs> your if you're energy low, <laughs> exactly exactly so it's like if i'm low like you're I'm gonna, lower. You're, you're, you're gonna come to play, like, yeah. and you're gonna come to play a certain way, and yeah. you're gonna do it, and like, you're good. You're not gonna play any games, and it's just like you're gonna be that way regardless of what's going on. Yeah. And so it's just like, then you having that mood, and then you already like that. It's just like you. We need balance. Uh, I don't think that's very fair to put that kind of pressure, though. Girl, I'm ready though. It's so easy to be like this, but <laughs> before we jump into it and really get going. Um, um, my name is Daphne Emily and I'm Edie Cyrus and we are soulful she two bodacious beautiful gorgeous phenomenal woman of Brockton <laughs> um, unraveling our truth on identity on empowerment on fashion and mental health um, through conversations, conversations from the soul, soul. yes Welcome everyone. We kind of already kind of jumped into it at the beginning, <laughs> just because you know we really do keep it real all the time with each other. So keeping it real, real quick was coming a lot earlier than it should have. But yeah. <laughs> since we had already started it and went, we're on a roll, Evie's keep it real, real quick. Keeping it real, real quick. Um, I think you. We were just talking about this before um, John John hit uh, record, but allergy season is crazy. It's ridiculous, and um, specifically with me, um, I also have asthma, and so my asthma has been picking up, and I feel like it's been picking up during allergies, allergy, allergy season. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like, am I the only one? Yeah. Like, are y'all also, you know, feeling the allergicness crazy? It's like yes. a, a whole, like, so this area right here just feels like fog. <laughs> like if fog had a feeling, I just feel congested. And like nothing, I am i don't usually typically feel anything. Mm -hmm. Over the years, it's gotten like little bit by little. But this time around, it's just like my eyes are just burning. My nose and this, this whole, my sinus area, to be more accurate, is just like <laughs> out of control. And then I, I lay down and like I lay down last night and I was just like, <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> like this, it's just a struggle. And we were also outside under the trees with wind blowing pollen in that every is true. which During direction. That is true. Yeah, yeah. So we've yeah. we've consumed a lot of pollen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think other than that, keeping it real, real quick. Um, I had a very packed weekend this weekend i feel like i was running and or always moving mm -hmm. i think at, on saturday i was like trying to do two trying to be in two places in one and i was just it was not happening um but i felt like i think saturday i went to sleep at like 5 a.m 5 a.m sunday and then basically basically and then had to get up for nine o'clock so like Oof. let's see how many hours i slept <laughs> you do the math <laughs> um but it felt like a very long weekend um i feel like today i finally like cleaned the house made space mm. um as as the people that are in here right now can see my living room was not the way that it is right now um, my living room was turned into a a factory uh, because I was doing a fundraising event and we were doing gift boxes so like my living room was it was just a lot of shredded yellow paper everywhere <laughs> <clears throat> so um, keeping it real real quick I feel like I'm in a space where I'm finally like cooling down okay well yeah. that's always a good thing mm -hmm. um, keeping it real real quick I f random but not random we say keep it real real quick but sometimes it really ain't that quick it's not quick at all it, keeping it real real quick spends like 20 minutes 
each of us individually <laughs> it really can it can go longer too so like as the, you said it and i was like it's never it's really, really real that quick, quick though <laughs> Um, but keeping it real, real quick, really this time, <laughs> for real. Um, <laughs> Paul has just been getting to me. My weekend was not bad. I enjoyed myself. I was not running rampant. I finally had one day off, but that day was to do other work for Soulful She. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I had a day off, but yeah, I was fun. still working, but I had a great time. So, um, and then today, it's been all right. I've just been doing my job and just trying to get a paycheck at this point so that's all i got hey yeah um but at the same time also when you said um we say let's keep it real real quick but i think that like the whole preface of keeping it real real quick is just more letting us know what's really happening with, within us yeah. and so like if it means that we're gonna share a little bit more but it's it's giving it's giving you the audience and another thing that came up is um <clears throat> i was chatting with someone and they were like so what do you call your audience like do um, they have a name and i, I was just so. like i don't know <laughs> i i've had a name for them or like when we do hashtags okay so who we we can think of something better because now I feel like maybe you've heard it and you're just like whatever. But, but soul, no no what soul what? friends okay soul friends. okay 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 our so soul friends y'all are our soul friends I yeah. bet bet I'm here for it um but yeah like at least our soul friends you our soul friends will know what's going on in our head and how it might affect the conversation moving forward yes so soul friends mm, 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 welcome to mm. the couch today. And now that we've kept it real, real quick, and we're gonna move our, maneuver into, you know, something we're move, maneuvering to conversation from the soul, but kind of replaying what we talked about last week. Last week we talked about friends, right? Yes, we did. And interestingly <laughs> enough, I feel like we've gotten comments in many directions about that episode. So many. I was not expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I will say, soul friends um uh there was a lot of people that shared that they watched the episode there was a lot of people that like spoke about it and i wasn't expecting it and it was it was new people too because yeah. there was this like three people that came up to me they're like yeah i watched the episode i was like what? you watched that episode <laughs> so y'all saw me tearing up and about to cry the one episode but you were strong always <laughs> thank you that was so convincing but you were strong yes um no i yeah it felt like a lot of people really connected connected with it and as always we do keep it real real quick but uh, through conversation from the soul is always with the intentions of being as real as possible mm -hmm. it is the conversation from the soul so it was really i think it's really prevalent in the world we live in to talk about friends because that's a big role that people play in our lives and you know going from Friends. talking about friends and then introducing our soul friends we wanted to move over to something that was kind of suggested to us i feel like we can get more serious especially when it's soulful conversations um but i guess it came up that like why don't we talk about friend zoning e e e e <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't even know because I don't friend zone people. <laughs> well, that would mean I would know if I, would, if I don't do it, right? Um, so friend zoning, I guess connecting off of friends, friends. but friend zoning people, um, that was mentioned by a gentleman, of course, because a woman, we don't worry about that, I guess. <laughs> um, or we, I don't know, whatever, how that works. But um, I guess we wanted to talk about friend zoning and... I guess the things that come into play with that. Mm -hmm. So, have we friend zoned? Are we? Have we been friend zoned? It's only fair. It's probably happened to us. Have we been friend zoned? And our whole feels about that whole opinion in conversation about pe people being friend zoned. I feel like it's such a stigma about like meeting someone and wanting them to be your friend. Yeah. And then just the other counterpart kind of feeling away. So like, I'm gonna have you jump in first and kind of, <laughs> you dive into your opinion on your, your kind of relationship with friend zoning. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and I, I also wanna preface this and say- um, Disclaimer. <laughs> <clears throat> so 
as Daphne and I continue to unravel um, very vulnerable conversations with y'all, um, we're still also becoming comfortable with that. I know it's still, I know we have season two already, we're, we're among season two, but it still is sometimes difficult for me to fully be vulnerable. So I think that um, I appreciate y'all's um, patience patience with us as we continue to unravel and feel more comfortable being uncomfortable and being vulnerable with y'all um and so hopefully this episode that helps but <clears throat> friend zone <laughs> so you say you were friend zone. <clears throat> um so i will say i've definitely been friend zoned i've definitely friend zoned mm -hmm. um and i've recently friend zoned someone like really recently <laughs> how recent is recently um uh <laughs> are we already here girl <laughs> give it to the people they're our soul friends we gotta keep it real with our friends <clears throat> so um i friend zone someone and i the thing is i try to be like when i friend zone people i try to be as casual as possible and i try to slide that in there without them realizing that they're being friend zoned but like in a way where it's not disrespectful but it's insidious Mm. so can it be disrespectful because it's insidious why would it even be disrespectful <laughs> if you don't want somebody you don't want somebody <laughs> i know that's right <laughs> <laughs> but but um recently um i don't know if he's gonna watch this but oh, well. like hey hey friend <laughs> hey friend hey soul friend <laughs> Ooh, so um oh, recently <laughs> I can already see. But go ahead. I'm up. <laughs> so recently, so recently, um, there was this gentleman um, who is who has actually been a friend for a very long time, mm -hmm. and he's been a friend since elementary school. <clears throat> um, <laughs> and uh, recently, um, again, we're not saying names, so like it's not really sharing much. Uh, uh, but you know who you are. <laughs> but, but if you hear the story, you know who you are. <laughs> it's all love, though. Yes, we still yes. friends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm laughing just because this is funny, but I'm not it's trying to. It's <laughs> absolutely funny. <laughs> so basically, um, this a uh, friend uh, for since elementary school we've been to friends for, since forever uh decided that he wanted to profess his love to me and to tell me that like he's really had a crush on me for a very long time and it's been a long time and it's just like my first thought was why are you choosing to do this now why didn't you wait if you if if it was 20 years like why are you waiting the 20th year to decide this but again like i don't know you know he had the courage now and 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 i um cheer him on for it and like you know bravery for doing that and all that jazz <clears throat> but <laughs> a lot of men are going to be triggered <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm not <laughs> but he he did it and and i appreciated it um and the way that i handled it um he was very much like you know i've had a crush on you for this long time and i wanted to tell you and like i guess now i feel comfortable sharing that with you and so i was just like you know I took the route that I took was very much like you know it took courage for you to say this um, you are very brave for like sharing this with me you said I, that to him? I don't I don't know if it, I use the word brave but like just just affirming that what he did is valid mm -hmm. and, and I validated it mm -hmm. um, and very much like was basically like I appreciate it I have the love for you you know I've always loved you as a friend and <laughs> and I always will have love for you and will continue to have love for you <laughs> as a friend <laughs> and like it was it was very much like I was I didn't want him to feel bad about him sharing that right. decision nor did I want him to feel bad about opening up right. and so it was very much like i validate what you said i'm here for you and i will always have love for you right um but i didn't i did i definitely made it clear that like i didn't want anything with him um nor was i trying to do anything with him right. um so that was my most recent friend zone where like do i know if he fully knows that he was friend zoned i don't know I don't know because like we don't like we I'm not a mind reader so like I don't know he's still 
hits me up. So like, but friends hit each other up. So. The way he be hitting me up, you know. But but like, but regardless, um, that was that was the most recent. But I would say that like when the person that decided to bring up this topic um said like friend zone i was just like do i even friend zone people and the thing is that yes i do Mm -hmm. because there's a couple of people that like i would prefer us to stay as friends like you know i don't i don't i don't want this to go any further i don't see a future with you nor do i feel like i want to do anything with you and so i'm definitely the type of person that will like if we're texting slide in that like bro (laughs) and wait (laughs) i've heard that a lot of people don't like it oh no no but but it's it but it's It's, but it's a clear indicator that like i'm friend zoned yeah the fuck and so like i would definitely be that type of person that like if we're key keying i'll slide in that like blah blah blah, yo bro or like something in there but like slide in that bro and i'm intentional about that like so i know that you heard that i said and i called you bro so i feel like those are that's an indicator for me to like let them know that like there's nothing else that i want to do with you um and i've definitely i think this year also in the lines of friend zone this year was definitely the first year that i felt comfortable while i was dating just stopping things cold turkey because i think that sometimes we friend zone people because we don't want to we don't feel comfortable just stopping completely Mm -hmm. but i think that this year was the first year that i felt comfortable and i felt it necessary to be like i actually don't want anything to do with you so like, like I don't even I don't want even, you like in I don't my e- life. I like we don't really need to be friends. Like there's no point of us being friends nor do I see the value of that. And that sounded really bad. It's, it can, but I think it's fair it's fair to say just cuz I feel like there's a lot of pressure put on people and I'm going to say especially women that when certain people are in your life like you have an obligation to always have to please and make sure that they're good. But if you don't have the space to have them in your life what's the point of stringing them along because the only thing that's going to happen after that it's going to be worse they're going to end up hating you because like you're supposed to be my friend but you don't hit me up you don't talk to me so just be like honestly to be real like it's nice knowing you nice to meet you you're just a leaf the seasons are changing (laughs) wow that one that visual was very but I what about you? <laughs> Talk to us about friend zoning and friend zoned and all that jazz. I've been told that I friend zone people. I've been told that I friend zoned a lot of people. I don't mean to. You don't realize it? It's not that I don't mean to. I don't realize it. Or for me, it's like I don't have an intent to see people. How do I say this? <laughs> so if like I meet someone, I'm attracted to them, then I'm attracted to them. Yeah. But if I meet someone, I'm not attracted to them. I'm just not attracted to them. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of times with people that I'll meet that I, I'm like cool with, we can have conversations about anything. Like it's an Bye. amazing time. I don't want to push that envelope to anything further other than being friends because that's so amazing that when it to goes to, to that <laughs> point, it's so easy to ruin, ruin Girl, it. Girl, Because yes. people in relationships are different than sometimes people as friends. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you, you cross that line and you try it out and then you lose there's everything. There's no going back. Yeah. There's no going back. So for me, there's been people that I've, I guess, friend zoned, but it's more because I respect them more as a person, as my friend, than to pursue anything else and have that ruined. Like, I'd rather have you in my life than teeter the line of like, okay, we crossed that line, we broke up, we're still cordial. Mm-hmm. But when we get in a relationship with someone else, those people, you don't know how they want the other person. Mm-hmm. Like, do they want the other person around? Likely not. Like, they're gonna feel a way. Yeah. So if you've done anything or messed around with anyone, like other people that come into your life kind of like, might not be comfortable. Yeah. And it just, things can be awkward and relationships just change completely. So for me, it's like, for people that I've have in my life, for men that have come into my life that I've friend zoned, it's people that I want in my life yeah. to keep in my life, and I don't see further than that because I just want them you as want my that friend. There. Yeah, and I feel like nat- nature's natural selection. Like, I don't want to reproduce with you. 
<laughs> I just want you in my life as my friend. And it's just hard for me to have this conversation because genuinely, I feel like, especially as women, we have to justify a lot of things that we do to spare other people's feelings, but we're really not intentionally doing anything to hurt someone's feelings. It and it's unfortunate that if you do like me or if someone does like you and you don't feel the same, this already going to be a natural hurt you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. but that's not our fault i didn't i'm so marvelous it's not my fault you mm. know what i mean mm. like mm. but it's one of those things that i get it like you can like me and it sucks because it might not be reciprocated same way if i'm into someone that's not into me and they want to friend zone me it might suck in the moment but like it's not the other person's fault yeah. And I, I just want to be straightforward. Like, it happens. Like, yeah. either you're my friend or we just won't be friends at all because I just don't want to cross that line regardless. Yeah, yeah. So you've been friend zone, but I'm still in your life. Like, what is there really to be mad about? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then if you're feeling away, then is it just because you wanted to get me in bed? Or did you really see potential of having a relationship with me? But if you wanted a relationship with me and you have a friendship with me, what are we really mad about? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And if people disagree, please let me know. It's okay. Because <laughs> I just, for me, friend zoning is such a, I don't know, it just happens. And I think we've put that name to it. It's got this negative stigma that it's easy for people to be like, damn, you friend zone me. And it's like, <laughs> no you're my friend yeah like i didn't you're my friend that's yeah. it for me so have i been friend zoned probably do you remember the last time you were friend zoned i was friend zoned that you were friend zoned yeah i don't feel like i sh which i don't think i've ever shot my shot in a way that i've been put in a place to be like actually sweetheart <laughs> yeah like i don't really try to shoot my shot and if i'm I kind of pursue something with someone is because I can kind of feel like they're kind of also vibing with you. Yeah. So, hmm. have I been friend zoned? That's a mystery. <laughs> if you friend zone me, let me know. No hard feelings. I don't take it personal. And then if you tell me that you friend zoned me and I was never interested, mm, that's a different story. That's a whole different story. Because what was going on in your head? Their head. Yeah, to, I, it's happened. We've had that happen before. How someone said like I've hit on them, and then you're like, huh? and I was like, when? I'm just friendly. I'm just nice, but apparently I hit on them. So I feel like maybe I've been friend zoned, and I wasn't even intentionally trying to get with anybody. Yeah. But for me in general, the whole idea of friend zoning is like, I just want you to be my friend. I've never done the bro thing. You mentioned that before, and there's been situations where I'm like maybe I should try that. But I don't, because I just feel like at this point, we just try so hard to protect a person's ego. And I've even had someone recently where it was nothing like that, mm -hmm. but someone kind of called it out. Like, are you two? And I was like, no, like, I'm not into that person. And I had to literally do this in his face. And I was just like, I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm not trying to friend zone you, but I'm friends. You want to be clear. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not trying to friend zone you, but I'm friend zoning you because we're just friends. And I was just like, it's not like that. Like, we're just really cool. And I'm just yeah. like, this sounds horrible, but like, I hope you understand. It's just like, For I feel like I have to, person. right. I feel like I have to justify and explain and apologize to tell you that you're my friend. And I hate that I have to do that. Yeah. And I feel like women, we have to do that all the time. But I don't know what, and I say that because I'm not a man. And as for a man, maybe they have to friend zone people. And I think maybe women take no's a lot more difficult, maybe. Do we? I don't know. I probably do. Do you think so? Like, I, if you were friend zoned, how would you? You were into it someone. It would crush me. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but would you accept it? Or would I, you be like, well we'll see how long you really want me as your friend see that that was something that was popping in my head that i wanted to talk about so like let's put a pin on that because i want to we can just jump back. into it right now oh, okay um but yes yes so my my thought process was um as women we also need to protect ourselves our safety mm -hmm. so like sometimes friend zoning and or some of the things that we do pertaining to boys or men because some of y'all ain't men. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Are you? <laughs> Can you say it with your chest? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but um, some men or boys don't know how to 
accept no mm -hmm. and so a lot of the times women like sometimes will have to give their number or have to do something to make them feel like they did win so that they can at least leave that situation safely because there have been so many times where if you are rejecting a man he will retaliate with he will retaliate in such a violent way that mm -hmm. you can be found dead mm -hmm. for for rejecting someone and it's just like that shouldn't be normal but that those are the things that some women need to like we have keep to in their head when dealing with or you know with men or boys that 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 can happen and then, uh, we've been put into situations i feel like i've been in situations where i have to be like i don't have a phone until we got to this age that we have iPhones everywhere, that it's like, now what is the excuse? So now I just tell people, I don't give out my number, but you can add, you can follow me on Instagram. Facts! Facts! Literally, I start off with like some social media, and then if I feel comfortable, and if we're like, you know, if I'm seeing that you're not some crazy person, we can maneuver into so the text phones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how it's kind of evolved for me too. Like, if I'm into you, here's my insta and then that's where we can do our research yeah and then from there if we have conversations in the dms and we want to transition to texting yeah yeah um it's either that or there's been times that like someone was really like going hard so i took their number so i could block them mm. and you didn't share your number you took their number instead no i gave my number too because to, oh, okay. they were not trying to do the <laughs> give me their number thing so as soon as they I were gave like, them, I want to make sure yeah. that I can reach you some way, shape, or some, form. Because some people do that. So as soon as they like gave it to me, no, I gave it to them. They like texted saying this is them. I just oh blocked gosh, them. they're like I need to make sure that before I leave here, we good. I mean, I've had people I've said no to that completely was like you ain't shit anyways, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> sure, but yes, like <clears throat> I think that for me. If someone was to re friend zone me, I would definitely be hurt because, mm -hmm. like, if I'm shooting my shot, that means, like, I'm out here trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so if you friend zone me, it's it's definitely going to hurt my ego um, because I'm out here putting being yourself vulnerable out there, yeah. and putting myself out there. But at the same time, I definitely don't think that I will be, like, guys because I feel like guys and this i'm generalizing so i'm sorry so it's not definitely not everyone basically yeah but there are many guys that like once they hear a no that just pumps their brakes up more for them to be like let me go even harder because i will say i was low-key kind of friend zoned mm -hmm. in a way with this guy that i was talking to we were vibing really really well um and he low-key friend zoned me and low-key he didn't low key. He blatantly was just like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> but, but basically, he said no. But then was like, "But we can keep going with what we're doing." And I was just like, "So then, so th I can take you to the bedroom, <laughs> but I just don't want any you to think that you'll go any further." And so, and so, basically, what I did for myself is I removed myself from that situation because I was just like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get hurt. So like, I'm just gonna completely remove myself altogether. Right. And was I hurt because I had to remove myself? Yes, but like, life moves on. There are plenty of people and things that I can be doing that I'll be fine. Yeah, I, for me, like, like I said, friend zoning is such a weird topic for me because I'm just like, it is what it is. Like, to me, it's like, it just is what it is. What is there really to say, you know? But I feel like it can go further than that and people can feel a certain way. I think that the dangers that come into it sometimes being faced with someone that doesn't want to take a no. Mm -hmm. Like, I've got, I've, I usually do the soften it up like the conversation up a little mm -hmm. not directly saying no i'm not interested but there's been times that i have to completely be like no like no and people get mad but it's like if i had to go to the point that i had to really blatantly be like no to you yeah and i've had someone before that like was constantly like this was years ago constantly trying to talk to me constantly hitting on me constantly hitting on me and i was just like i'm not interested in you like 
I even was like, you know, homeboy over there, that's my number one, the other one's number two. You're not even on the list. Like, I would make jokes like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, let me show you the roster that you're not in. Okay. <laughs> and it's just like, he was still like, he told me one day, when a woman tells me no, it just means I need to try harder. And I was like, where in your right mind does that what? make sense? Where does no say go faster? Go it's just harder. like when they say believe women, believe women in all aspects. So if a woman is saying no to you, just take the no and leave. So when he said that to me, I was like, um, red flag number 27. <laughs> like, that's creepy. Now nah, I'm good on you. Even the jokes gotta stop. Like, we're not even friends. Like, um, interestingly enough, months later, I go into like, you know, the random inbox and in Facebook that like, if you're not friends. Yeah. So I go in there and there's a message from this girl that's like, oh, you know, so-and-so I'm his girlfriend. And I was like, I literally answered, I was like, girl, ain't nobody want him. Do you hear this? But go ahead. <laughs> and then I see him years later at the bus station. And then he comes up to me with his phone out. He was already ready. Trying to talk to me. And I was just like, no, <laughs> like no <laughs> like no 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 talking about that actually so there was this one time that i went to a party and um i became very comfortable and was talking to this person and um we ended up connecting and afterwards when i fully saw who i was talking to i was just like i actually don't want this and i think like for the party we went to no no no, no. Okay, this was so like okay. this was like in high school okay. um i want to say like now maybe like three two years ago mm -hmm. he hit he finds me on instagram and was like trying to rekindle things and i was just like you know it's been like 20 plus years like what's going on here and he's just like yeah i want to get to know you let's hang out let's do this let's do that let's do this and then i look at his profile he's a whole married ass man a whole married ass man and he's out here saying i want to have dinner with you and what's the excuse we can have dinner as friends that's another thing that bothers me we can be friends no <clears throat> like I've had people I've said no to it's like we can be friends no new friends what I need you for a friend what no and I've had yeah but girl that reminds me this is gonna a lot of memories <laughs> popping up <laughs> last summer someone had like said I was pretty whatever whatever and he was like he asked for my number so I did the Instagram thing go to his page and he was hesitant so I was like mm, got a whole family girl and I'm just like, why? Why do this? Why? Why are you hurting yourself and the person that you're with? And then I just did the block thing. The block and unblock so that everyone unfollows each other. And I'm like, you're never going to remember me. It's, um. it's just weird. Like, the friend zone and dating world. Like, <clears throat> I will say I was having this conversation with somebody and I was just like, the audacity of some of these people that they feel that like what they're doing is perfectly fine that's what gets me that it's just like do you fully understand what you're doing and if you are like that's even worse yeah i i think a lot of times when it comes to like interactions in that way um this is kind of separating the people that you keep as friends but people that we're saying no to and just kind of don't want in our lives mm -hmm. it's just like misogyny does play a role in a lot of these things and there's been a lot of times where again men don't want to hear no mm -hmm. or rejection hurts it does i know rejection hurts yes it does and people get offended from that so mm -hmm. when people get offended from that some people get really <laughs> angry and it's also sometimes feeling like people don't hold their people accountable mm -hmm. like i feel like you'll go out and there'll be like a group of guys one will be hitting on you and then like they'll completely be an asshole after and like you're with your whole group of friends like are you all like that you're all accepting this behavior and i've seen it a lot where it's just like 
you're really being creepy and kind of scary like you need to back off <laughs> I, or i feel like there was one time that we were together and someone made like a weird disgusting comment to you and it was just like are you do you know what you're saying do you know the words that are coming out your mouth but i guess that's a whole different conversation um or it, it still ties into this kind of sense of like having to reject someone and say no to someone and just that understanding of living in a world as women that we have to sugarcoat things yeah we can't just say no because we feel like if we say no we're hurting someone's feelings but then we can still sugarcoat things and we still hurt their feelings and still be hurt yeah and still be targeted and still be verbally attacked physically attacked um I feel like that can go into this whole dark road, but it happens. It still exists. It completely exists. That it's at the point where, like, women, when we're out together, we have to team up with each other Girl. because we can't. Buddy system. And it's unfortunate. And I've had people say you shouldn't have to rely on your friends, but it's like, but we do because we aren't safe. Yeah, I love saving women at da in the dance floors. Mm, that's my favorite thing in the world. Like, you just gotta give me that look. And the thing is, sometimes it'll be like random ass women too that I don't even know. And like, I see that look and I'm just like, mm, coming over here and just <laughs> grabbing them away. Cause it's just like, also during dance, dancing and in parties, like it also is weird sometimes. Some people feel weird and comfortable saying no. And it's just like, mm, 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 mm. I will always save a friend. Shout out to the guy friends that jump in and save the day too. I've had moments where like someone has like kind of approached me and I've kind of like eyed a guy friend and they just come around just like arm around the shoulder. Thank you. And man. the guy's just like, my bad, no disrespect, no disrespect. And I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm the pretty girlfriend and this is my man. So like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me. And then like, as soon as they walk away, it's just like, thank you so much. Like, and just the fact that he understands that he has to bring his male presence into the space mm -hmm. for me to be able to reject the man. Mm -hmm. That's, that's annoying. Mm -hmm. And then me, I, you know, me, sometimes I'd be straightforward. So some, there's been times I've said no, and I'm like, Oh, I'm going to get punched in the face one of these days. Cause I've just been like, I, I will say when it comes to the dance floor, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with like saying no to someone yeah. because I remember just recently actually <laughs> there was so, someone that like i saw in the dance floor and like the way he was dancing i was not really liking it um but then i also saw him maneuvering closer and he got to the point that he was like right next to me and i was just like i could be completely wrong but if i'm not no no <laughs> and i literally was just like I don't want to dance with you. You haven't asked a question. You haven't asked anything. You haven't even looked my way, but I'm just doing it now to not waste your time and whatever little thing that you're going to try to do. Like, I'm not trying to dance with you. So no, <laughs> like, no, I feel that. And I guess transitioning from this a little bit is talking about, do you have male friends in your life now that you believe you friend zone, but they're amazing friends and still in your life? Um, or maybe you don't know that you friend zone them. I probably don't know that I friend zone them because I will say like I am a smart cookie. I am an intelligent young woman. Absolutely. I, I have phenomenal qualities of myself. You but, better let them know. <laughs> but one thing that um, this Iris needed to learn um, was definitely some common sense. Um, I was definitely when I was little my common sense you know like the sugar spice everything nice that you add to ingredients to make the powerpuff girls mm -hmm. well the ingredients to make iris common sense was not in there mm. um and i common sense is not so common was not so common for me so there was things there was times where things happened that like stepping back someone else that was seeing it was like did you realize that that just happened and mm. i'm just like no because you were being friendly and it's just natural to just be friendly and not it be something else and i feel like there's been moments where it hasn't even been like that between two people like someone said i friend zone someone and i'm like we're both on the same page like we're just being friends or i've had someone come up to me and like i'm with a guy friend that i've been friends with forever oh do you know who that is that's my boy so and so and i was like 
I was like, can you tell him who I am to you? <laughs> can you tell him who I am? Because he's coming up like, that's like, he's trying to like show that that's his boy. So he's like, chest so puffed out. I? And I'm just like, oh, that's your boy? I don't even know you, but I've known him for years. So like, who's? and I was like, can you let him know who I am? And it's just like, sometimes people do that. They'll come into a space and just be like, ooh, I see y'all. And it's like, no, it ain't that at all. Like, don't make it awkward. Yeah, but I will say <clears throat> um, one thing that I do have and I've got, like, I I would consider myself to have more guy friends than girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And I only began to grow the relationship of girlfriends in college. <clears throat> but for like high school middle school and even in college i had more guy friends than anything and yeah. so because i had more guy friends i'm just going to assume that more often than not there have been a lot of friend zoning mm -hmm. <clears throat> because like i have a lot of guy friends but i would like to believe that if if it happened and i didn't realize it I'm still friends with them so like I'm very happy and very grateful for the men that are in my life um, that I can call friends and that um, friends that I can call brothers um, <clears throat> so same I feel like I know some people that might have been friend zoned or might believe that they were friend zoned but were still great friends and I think it, it, I would like to be like I would like to place you in a room and be like has Iris ever friend zoned you? <laughs> Raise your hand. And I feel like it, I feel like easily. And you don't even know because you're laughing so hard. No, no, because I'm just like, I would not want to be in that room. <laughs> I feel like, you know, a few hands might just go up. Um, and I feel like maybe the same thing would happen with me, but I think it's just something that sometimes you just don't notice. Yeah. Like you just are just fully attracted to that person as a friend that it doesn't as even cross being your, yeah and it doesn't cross your mind of anything in that sense to be f further than that and i feel like there are men in my life that maybe that's possible and there's probably there are men in my life that we did cross that line and we were just like eh, never mind like we're better off as being in this friend so, area mm -hmm. um and i like that i feel like it's great to have friends of all genders like having guy friends is amazing yeah I feel like it's fun and I feel like we learn from each other being in spaces with guys um, and talking about certain things like this is like we get different perspectives that we have no clue about yeah or we get yeah. called out on things that we just didn't re really know and I feel like those are the best times that you can be in a space it doesn't have like and it should be that way mm -hmm. that gen all genders can come together in a space and just be cool and have fun and kiki and be friends kiki. and i've seen it a lot on twitter a lot of guys have been tweeting about how like it, how great it is to have like a female best friend or have girlfriends yeah. yeah. and like and how like people get so surprised that you don't want to have something sexually with a female and it's like that's why females have issues with being around certain guys it's like because the some, perception of always feeling like <laughs> um someone wants you sexually and it's like sometimes you can just be her friend uh -huh. and we're probably where i guarantee you a lot more friend fun as friends than as people further oh, than that what literally i will say yes i'm more fun as a friend because <laughs> the way like i remember um who was it i i went on a trip with a friend uh, and we went on a cruise and literally one of it was two friends of mine two guy friends we went on a trip um, and we went on a cruise and one of them ended up getting sick so it was just him and I and so it like stepping outside it looked like we were together because it was a boy and a girl but I was just like listen I'm here to wing women the shit out of you and I got you. <laughs> like, and that's the best. <laughs> so literally, I was just like the wing woman of the MVP for him that night. And I was just like, this was fun. Like, this was fun because I also love interacting with people in general. So mm -hmm. like, put me in front of somebody and I will. Um, I, feel, I, I, <laughs> I feel you on the wing woman thing. Like, honestly, at this point, if you feel like I friends owned you, let's go out and let me be your wing woman. We will reel them in. Let me tell you, I've, I do it for my father all the time. 
<laughs> I do. I do it for my father all the time. And these women just ugh. eat it up. They eat it up because I'm smart, I'm beautiful, and I have a great relationship with my father. And when they come around a guy that's just so open about women and females and raising daughters, that's an easy win for it. That's an easy real. And it's <laughs> so easy. It's uh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> She's like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I just feel like it's fun, too. Like, I w I've been around guys where, like, I've kind of seen a girl kind of scoping, and he's kind of scoping. I'm like, I got you. Bad. And all you got to do is kind of, like, make, like, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but there's certain things you, you just got to flirt right. But you kind of flirt in a sense to kind of pull her into him. Like, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm such a better friend than I am a girlfriend. I guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> and in that sense, let's just go out and let's reel them in. I promise you, it'd be a great time. <laughs> in the most respectful ways, though. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, most definitely. Because we definitely. don't, we like women over here more than we would like these men. Exactly. So, <clears throat> but yes, that's, I think, the best part. Well, not one of the best parts of having male friends. And it's just fun to, like, talk about those relationship things with other people because then you learn from each other and then you check some people who are just wrong and inappropriate about certain things and then you get checked when you're oblivious and you know that like you said that lack of common sense you've had to learn that mm -hmm. have you been called out on that that you've realized it or is it something you've had to learn like my common sense yeah have people oh. called you out on friend zoning or like being oh overly friendly or i don't think you're overly friendly i think you're friendly i i think that people i think when it comes to flirting i think that there are people that i have that have said like you are a friendly person and so some might someone might assume that you're flirting with them yeah. but i'm really just girl being friendly. your compliments be like you are you are like the sun you glistened when you walked in the room that's how you be telling people so yeah i could see that <laughs> <laughs> like you be, you be writing a whole like <laughs> poem. <laughs> and these people be swept off their feet, and you'd be like, "I, right, bro." <laughs> the end. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I could actually see that happen. Yes, <laughs> and it's you being friendly, and you like to bring the best out of people, and you give compliments that are not the typical or they're more unconventional because those are the best compliments to give right mm -hmm. and they're genuine but i can see why someone's like swooning now over you because it's like damn she, those words <laughs> <laughs> impeccable <laughs> that is hilarious i played that in my head and i was just like it has to be deja vu <laughs> it has to be deja vu and i for and i'm trying to think for, for me you? oh i'm i been called a flirt so many times i've even been nice to a woman and i've gotten the mm, mm, like oh i see you and it's like i'm just being nice like oh but i guess whatever i got that energy whatever you say i've just been say yes i got that energy. sure and it's like do you want me to teach you a few things if this is all it takes to look like flirting yeah and then, exactly exactly then do you want me to teach you a exactly few things? and the, this and this isn't actually flirting because if <laughs> you got that because if we were flirting <laughs> but and this is why maybe we haven't been friend zoned because we when we flirt we flirt <laughs> um what's it called i i i will say for our soul brothers that are listening um do you are you mindful of how you are presenting yourself to females are you mindful of those conversations and or those topics of you know um women not feeling comfortable rejecting men or boys like do you has has that has that come up in the conversation with guys um and and do you keep that in mind when you are shooting your own shot um because that's also something to keep in mind of just we are speaking about it in our perspective but like are you mindful of that and i, I think that a lot of times people might think it's uh she thinks she's too good 
or she's feeling herself too much and that's why she's acting this way but i don't think a lot of people understand that women we literally have this natural safety guard up at all times that we're saying no because one we want to be safe and or we're also not interested it will sugarcoat it in a way just to get out of it safely and people get really offended but it's like we literally have to do this to protect ourselves and it's not about her being cocky or fuller and even if she is cocky full of herself you should be girl love yourself like at the end of the day like if you're not interested in someone you're not and i just feel like i guess i don't know the male's perspective of it too like i feel like we do live in a world that is also the other way around men have to do most of the pursuing or that's what happens for the most part a lot of women might not approach men i know women that would never yeah. approach a man but they'll do things to kind of get the man to approach them so i can understand that the rejection <laughs> is a lot more common because men are always putting themselves out, out there, there. Yeah. and i know rejection sucks from the times I, and experiences i've had so i can even imagine Girl. it being such a constant mm -hmm. kind of thing mm -hmm. so it's only fair to say too that i get it like it can be frustrating but i mean for me i know it's just a no and if i if and if I'm rejected, I know I'll be hurt. So it probably is fair to say men will be hurt too. Yeah. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And I just maybe after this, if any, because we have mostly um, female viewers, but if any of our male viewers want to kind of chime in and say like, kind of what is your perspective on friend zoning? Because I can only speak about my life Us. and yeah. what we've been through and what we see <laughs> and what we can speak to and i just know a lot of the times that i've just said no has been because one i'm not interested so i'm saying no because i'm not interested mm -hmm. and also i just want to protect myself in this space and i'm here just to have fun i'm not here looking for nobody yeah. and that comes into play a lot with dancing i feel like we love to go and dance I and we'll be dancing. dancing and all of a sudden it's like a swarm of people around you looking for the like the time to jump in and dance with you and it's like i'm not here to dance with nobody like i'm just here to dance with my peoples yeah um but just wanting to know like it pro i know it sucks to be rejected but like how do you handle it and like what about our opinions differ from yours and maybe like again we live in a world that there are gender roles unfortunately and maybe we're playing into the female gender role in a sense of like why we do certain things a certain way so for men like what is it that's unfair about it which i can say the rejection thing is definitely probably one of i can think of a big thing um and is is oh well, yeah yeah is what i was gonna say is friend zoning like the full rejection because like you're still the friend right and that's <laughs> the difference too there's people that are friend zones that are your friend now and it's like if I could ask you as my friend, like, do you, did you feel a way? And if yes, like, what allowed you to still want to be my friend? And like, would, would you still want to cross that line? And that's a thing. Like, I feel like there are men in this world that will take the friend zone because they're hoping that it can shift i feel like women do the same too yeah no 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 yeah yes that's true that's true we i both. feel like we'll we be both. like we're gonna be that home girl and we're gonna find that time in that place where to to step in yeah so i know i've seen that or we're like you know i'm just want to hang around so i'm just in your line of sight so when you're open you're when when your eyes finally open and you see the true beauty that i've always been then i'm here You're, yeah i feel like that definitely yeah girl girl and guys do you, <laughs> how often do you friend zone do you friend zone a lot i feel like guys are always talking about girls having like girls like sliding into dms and like us probably having a lot of dms like what do your dms look like because i feel like a lot of women nowadays are more comfortable going into the dm so like men are women going into your DM? And if they are, are you answering them? Because I feel like they're always told, like, we're always ignoring people in our DMs. Are you ignoring people in your DMs? Have you double checked? Are you answering all the women in your DMs? That is a great question. But that's just something random. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess overall friend zoning, it is what it is. It and is unfortunately, it has this negative stigma, I guess. I guess. 
I, I like want to ask John John to time, chime in I from his. I actually wanted to too. <laughs> like as we're talking and I'm looking at him and I just like do I do we want to ask him because he's here he's a, and he's a male perspective <laughs> and he's just smiling right now like do you want to be put on the spot? Can he? Do you? No. <laughs> Darn. Have you been friend zoned? Yes or no? I cannot speak for any man but myself. Okay. And that's why the question is directed to you. Have I been friend zoned? Have yes. you been friend zoned? Yes. Have I friend zoned? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. So John John has also friend zoned. I am aware and accountable of my actions. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to cover all ground because you guys had a lot of ranges. Should I repeat you or can people you can, hear you? you uh, they'll, they'll hear him. Yeah, they'll hear me. I'll okay, like perfect. A faint voice. In the okay. background. Yeah, That's what like we like want. We want like that voice in. Yes. Yeah. The voice in the distance. Soulful he. Soulful he. Oh. Yeah, so, in terms of just like friend zoning, have I been friend zoned? Yes. Has it stung? Sometimes. Sometimes it's like, you know what? Like, I'll be honest, sometimes guys just do it to be like, well, I tried, man. Yeah. Again, depending on where you are in life, whether you were going through your whole phase, friend zoning, you'll be insensitive to it. Yeah. Because it's your whole phase. Because it's your whole phase. It's like, Someone go what, 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 what's you the know? next who's the next one right. exactly it's like i'm at a buffet who, all you who can try to pick it up from here that's what the whole phase is with friend zone are you the crab legs am i the crab those ones always go out the, right? as soon as they're out they're gone so the coconut shrimp but that's besides the point um so yeah and then have i been friend zoned when i had intentions of wanting something specific yeah 100 percent did it hurt? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, at the same time, too, you also have to be like, sometimes when you want to get with someone, it's usually very short term. Okay. Because then once you get to understand the person, you're like, this person is actually make... a lot better in this position. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've, I've had people turn into friends after. I've had people that were friends that's turned into more than friends. And I can definitely say that friend zoning earlier is saves you a lot of stress in the future. Mm, interesting. Yeah. You heard it here, y'all. Friend zoning <laughs> earlier. Just do it from the beginning. <laughs> just say just say bro. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? <laughs> being uh, bro. How do I feel about being bro? Yeah. Bro'd. <laughs> so, um, I think that when I am being broed it depends on the situation, because if my intention with this person was just for like a very quick fling, then it's fine, cool, you broed me. But it's like, imagine you do the dates and then, I don't know, you, you rub grandma's feet and then you get the bro. That's a different type of bro. That's like a... Yeah, that's like an adopted bro. Like you met the you're, whole family. You're a friend in the family. Yeah. Damn. You know. So for me personally, I don't mind bro because... I have a lot of friends that are actually women that I love to have around because sometimes, can I swear? Yes. I always swear all the time. More so, than me, which is interesting. <laughs> I love having women as friends because only for myself, I'm a very like relaxed guy. Mm -hmm. Whenever I meet other men, it's always just a big dick contest. Yeah. Whether it's big or not, I don't really care, but I'm here and I'm just minding my business. <laughs> Girls' intentions are always clear. Sometimes you don't even gotta play the game. You'd be like, honestly, put the coochie in my mouth. Oh. And sometimes okay. that one girl will say sure. But sometimes she will say, nah, bro. So <laughs> that's it's just full circle. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Yeah. And I'm I'm happy to get the perspective because I feel like we've been talking to the air and I'm just like, oh I we, I need the, the male perspective. Yes. And with that, I will say um, our videographer is John John Melovier. Um, he does an amazing job in our videography. He also does photo shoots. He just recently got a studio, so hit him up if you want to look. This is gorgeous. where we insert his at right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely I was itching to ask him, but I was just like, I don't know if you feel comfortable doing. I this. just feel like I was scraping <laughs> for like scraping to talk about it, and I'm just like. I need the male perspective when it comes to this because like technically they're the ones that are more inf infamously friend zoned yeah <clears throat> yeah I appreciate you John John 
I'm glad to be here. I appreciate that whole last sentiment <laughs> of facts. putting it in your mouth. Because I just wanted to show the extremes. With yeah. That. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know what? Extreme here, extreme here, middle ground. There is always a middle ground. Right. But for men, we don't see the middle ground. It's just extremes. That's it. That's how, that's how you see it. But yeah. it's just like, let me test the waters, and if it's warm, we get in. If it's cold, we just go back to the beach, go back mm -hmm. to the sand. Right? Yeah. Um, but I will say to transition into stepping into you and stepping into us and stepping into um, our best self, how this is a, a interesting transition because usually I have like something to think about when it comes to this, but I guess... Um, have you been friend zone? <laughs> I feel like I sound like those commercials before, before like Mari or Jerry Springer. <laughs> it's that It's that guy. What are you doing sitting on the couch like that guy? I forget <laughs> what that commercial is. Yes. Oh, for Everest. Yeah. They're not paying us for this, so I'm not saying their name again. But anywho, <laughs> but have I, you been friend zoned? Uh, yes, but no. I guess the, the question is more of like, how how can this conversation help us step into more better selves? Mm -hmm. Not more into a better self and and I don't know because the thing is I guess the thing that keeps coming back to me is just more speaking to our soulful brothers and just being more mindful of of how you approach rejection and I guess then for us as well like how are we approaching rejection um, but I, this one is a tricky one for stepping into you can we just ask like give us opinions on this whole conversation then yeah yeah let's reflect yeah. back on it because i again i feel like we're grasping at the air on something that just feels like like it is what it is and i just want to know like in another mind just let us know because yeah well yes yes because i think that then yes if if we were to transition the stepping into you um we are always developing growing and becoming much better through stepping outside of our our perspective and really looking at the bird's eye view yeah so help us step into ourselves and you also step into you by sharing your perspective and also if you need a wingman just let me know when and where <laughs> but but yes um <laughs> we'd love to hear your opinion on this and we'd love to hear it in the comments on YouTube, um, the comments on uh, Instagram, comments on Twitter. We want to hear from you. And don't just tell us, <clears throat> tell the world on social media. I feel like people reach out to us personally and tell us stuff. And we want everyone to see your perspectives on it because we want to share it. We want to discuss it and we want to broaden out from just our couch. Yeah, yeah. So. Hopefully, we will be hearing from you, our soul friends, to let us know how you feel about this topic. Everything that we talked about, because I feel like not only did we talk about friend zone, we talked about rejection, we talked about dating-ish, we talked about the like- The dangers of oh. like women in just that realm. All of this, like we went into like the pot and really stirred it up a little-ish. Um, I just- it is what it is. <laughs> Friend zone just is what it is. But is that all for stepping into you? And as yes. we step into you, we move into fashion forward. And to speak on fashions today, I have no clue. Um, I was going to say, I feel like a TikToker today. I feel like I finally succumb to COVID fashion of wearing the sweatsuit set. Oh. That's what it's called? Sure. No, it's, is it a sweatsuit? I feel like it's been the thing. Oh, and really? I just didn't jump in the bandwagon because I'm like, one, I'm a curvaceous woman. This ant has been all up in this place. It's been on the painting. Like, <laughs> he's on me. No. I'm just like, where are you going? Do you want to sit on the couch? <laughs> do you want to join us yeah. for the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been watching him. Like, <laughs> But, um, yes, I was not succumbing into the sweatsuit set because I like them, but I just felt like the world is going to open one day. And we're going to have all these like joggers and sweaters. And I'm, again, big, gracious woman. Like these clothes are not always the most flattering on me. So I'm just like, and also I'm tall. I'm a tall woman and like joggers on me 
fall in the most awkward places sometimes. So I just never went for it. But then I found this one. <laughs> and so I ordered the um, Black Girl sunscreen. So the app will be right here. And it's just sunscreen that's black owned um, because black can crack, you know what I mean? And we have to be wearing our sunscreen. So I listened to another podcast that mentioned it. I went ahead and bought it and I saw Which that- one? Um, friend zone, the friend zone. Okay. Friend zone is my favorite podcast. The read is my other one. Honestly, the read they're like, yes, they're like me. Like I feel like I can sit on the floor and just watch them talk all day and just be like, oh, the pettiness is so amazing. <laughs> um, the pettiness is so amazing. Yes, I've learned the older I get, the worse my pettiness has become, and it's getting, but all in good fun. But yes, when I was gonna order the sunscreen, I saw this outfit and it says women of the sun on the sweatshirt and i kind of just fell in love with that just because it's like i am an earth sign but i love the sun and i had a quote that i wrote in my mind and i think i put it in my phone but it's like i am grounded by the earth but i only grow because of the sun mm. and um that's not exactly what i wrote but you get something just, a, yeah i'm phrase. gonna actually read it because i think it was amazing i'm pulling out my phone i don't care we're gonna do this it's like you're in class and getting in trouble or something right <laughs> all right i wrote as a virgo i am rooted i am rooted in the earth and remain grounded by gravity but the sun the sun shines through it all and i and it allows me to grow defying it all that's what i wrote that was supposed to be a caption of a picture so if you see it in the caption just mind business <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, I just love that the quote said woman of the sun and just buying the sunscreen and being like, we love the sun, we wanna be in the sun, but we need that sunscreen. Um, and it's just cute, so I, I'm here. And I've been Glowing. for I've been for the jogger sets, I have been. I just haven't bought them because I just didn't wanna have a million. But it's been fly, I've been seeing everyone. And I feel like a TikToker. I feel like I'm Gen Z right now. <laughs> and, I'm, and it's just so weird to think like we're millennials, but there's a whole generation that's in the, getting into their 20s. That's Generation Z. And even though the world so blames everything on millennials and calls everyone that's young a millennial. Yeah. But we're we're the old folk now. We're, we're, we're turning 30. There. We've been 30 and the rest of us are turning 30. Uh -huh. And then the Gen Z is coming up. But yeah, fashion forward. I love the joggers. So I've been seeing them a lot on people. It's comfy wear. It's fire. I love it. I, when I saw you, I was just like, mm, I did a little crop. Mm, this, you know, right mm. now I don't want to show the crop because the fupa. But like, I'd have a little crop situation going on. Like, you know, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Specifically with the the like bleach tie dye mm -hmm. mm. and bleach. And John John, we talked about this earlier. John John was like, I'm just happy that bleach stains are back in because he was like, I bleached a bunch of my clothes and now it looks like I'm in style. <laughs> and I'm just like. <laughs> that's another thing yes i've loved the tie-dye bleaching kind of look too mm -hmm. so i finally have something and every time i see this i'm gonna think of the year of covid and how this <clears throat> came became back a thing out and we are here yes being always flies ever being beads by trokin we're wearing our beads by trokin as always yes beads by trokin he is again coming out with youtube videos to like help you peel peer into the things that he does and how he makes it happen. I very much enjoyed um, his podcast videos. I get a kick out of them. Um, and you hear new music each time. Like, again, Beats by Trokin. One of one, luxury, jewelry. But yeah, that was Fashion Forward. You know, I, I one thing I do want to do one day for a fashion forward, I do want to do, it just sounds like a lot of do's. Um, but one thing I want to do for a fashion forward is I want to like style somebody, a man preferably first. Mm. I mean, I'd love to style a woman. I, I feel like a lot of times when I'm looking at clothes, I'll be like, this will look great on this one. This will look great yeah. on Iris. Like I was on Zara, Zara earlier because we talked about it and I was like, these pants would look nice on Iris. But I would like to, you know, try testing out styling some people and show y'all the looks and maybe do like a, a, a hundred dollar oh. outfit or something like that. But ah. we'll see what happens. I like that. You know, we'll see if I got the energy. We are, you are saying this out loud. So hopefully our soul hold friends accountable. can hold you accountable. <laughs> um, and who's to say the summer, you know, the streets are calling and the, the streets can be the thrift store, you know? and so and you've been wanting to go who, to their store really bad listen and who's to say that like we could potentially do a vlog of just 
watching you do that under a hundred style. We got this. You heard it here first. <laughs> They're gonna, yeah. I'll do it though. I want to. I'm it. It's something that I've thought about for a while. So, but that's all for me, fashion forward. And I guess that is also what's resonating with me. So what is resonating with you? What is resonating with me? Um, I would like to say that what's still resonating with me is that yesterday, uh, Daphne and I um, will be showing you hopefully soon some awesome pictures because we did a fun little photo shoot um, to let people know about uh, the wonderful Make Jefa Moves, Hija de Tu Madre. And so I'm excited to see these pictures. I'm excited we to see. Under the glorious sun, just glistening and glowing as the beautiful woman we've always been. So I'm excited to see them too. It's very colorful, which is my favorite part. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so I guess that yeah, I'm excited to show y'all um, the results of of our picnic shenanigans. Yeah, I and guess that's it. For yeah, us. yeah. So I guess as always, I am Daphne Emily, and I am Edis Iris, and we are Soulful She. Woo! And as I usually end, he can listen, they can listen, but she is speaking. And we might be one more drop in the ocean, but we just might be that last sip to quench your thirst. Mm.